Okay, so I think that solves that issue so that we now know we can get a comparator signal off of the back of this. And I guess I could put it into a log. I think this is spruce. I need to see the end of it. Yeah, spruce. So we can just grab our tree box. Grab some spruce. So I think if we kept this kind of dark theme, then we should be able to continue on. Um, need a redstone torch as well. I think I need two and then redstone dust, which I have. Emeralds are a renewable resource with villagers. Oh, that's a good point, Elkhorn. That's a good point where you can't renew renew diamonds. Although, I don't know. I mean, they're, they've always got beacons. I feel like the way that, you know, people that play heavy endgame Minecraft play is that I find it a lot easier to just go strip mine with a beacon and get uh, diamonds than it is to trade with villagers. Or maybe it's just that I enjoy one more than I enjoy the other. That could be it too. So let's just build this up just a little bit so it's a little bit easier to see what we're doing. So if I take this out, let's replace this with some orange terracotta. And I think all of these are going to be orange terracotta. Like that, and then out that way. I think it goes into a block, but we're gonna change that into something else. So the redstone has to go here. There has to be a redstone torch there because that will give us a full signal going into the side of the comparator. I'm not going to be able to put the comparator there unless I remove this and this. And this is going to have pumpkins in it. Surprise, surprise. So grab my axe. Get rid of this temporarily. And comparator goes here. Darn it. Okay. Comparator goes there and it goes into a block, but I want the block to be spruce so it looks cool. There's nothing I can do about those, that's fine. We can put our chest back there. That's correct. Yep, hopper sneaking to the chest. We'll have to come up with something. Maybe we put a pumpkin there. Not sure what we could do there. Maybe another set of stairs would be good. Actually, let's see what that looks like. My inventory is gonna fill up really quickly here. Do something like Oh no, that's a hopper. I had to break the hopper. That's right. Yeah, okay. So we do, we could still do something with stairs here to hide the hopper. Because previously the chest was hiding it. So we could do something like this. And then just change the front of it. That's okay for now. Uh, Elkhorn95 says, on my single player world, now that I have my automated crop farms, I have built all my beacon bases out of emerald blocks. Nice. Six various locations. Wow, that's a lot of emeralds. I like, I have six emeralds to my name right now. It's pathetic. Uh, Jared says he also ends up with excess emeralds. Oh, villager trading to mend tools. I never thought about that. That's a good idea. See, I, I have a plan in the swamp base to breed uh, clerics and trade zombie flesh for my zombie spawner. And that's how I'm going to um, that's how I'm going to fund my current lacking in emeralds. So I think we're gonna change this out to spruce. So it looks a little bit cooler. So this I think goes away. So we have to find out where that dropper is. So it's down there. And comparator goes into a block. I think this has a torch on the back of it. And then there is a block below it. 
this. And that has redstone dust on it. And so that's on, and it's going to stay on until it gets powered from the chest. So if we go up here. I guess I could fill up the chest. I don't want to have the whole stream be me refilling and filling up the chest, though. This, when this is all set up, it's going to auto drop excess pumpkins into the water stream and they're going to cruise down this way and I can show you where this connects because you can get there underground. So once they drop down that hole, they'll end up down in this water stream here. They'll go down this way and then they have, I've got a new 1.13 elevator, which will pop this up. So the items go up. And then they shoot this way. And they continue on to the uh, greenhouse. But here are the setups that I showed you earlier. So I'm looking at, I mean, any of these, they're all the same. So the comparator, does it go? So the light's not on, so it's not in subtract mode. So comparator goes into one block that has a torch on it. Ah, this is what I was forgetting. So underneath this, there's a repeater that goes into a block and then a torch. So one, two, three, four bits of redstone there. So dot, four bits of redstone. We're gonna have to flip this, but that's fine. Okay, I think, I think I have a handle on it. I think, I think. So that has to be, oh, weird. Oh, I see, because the dropper is lower here. The dropper is lower here. So we, we have to hook up the chest to the dropper. Because it was a dot and then one, two, three, four. So that's right. Yes. So we do that. And then it's just two hoppers. I think in the other build, it's only one. So this can actually go like that. And I think the repeater can actually just come off this block. Because the repeater just has to go into a block at the back of the of the uh, the hopper, I think, like that. And so this, oh, I can't put any, I can't put anything there. Paranor is raiding with four friends. Fantastic! Thanks so much, man. Good to see you, and welcome, folks. Uh, so I can put something like a stair here or a slab, but I can't, I can't do, I can't cut this off with another um, block because I don't want to cut off that signal. Uh, this, however, can go here and then it has to go one, two, three, and then four into, I guess I should do stone brick. Do, do. Like that. Ah, perfect. That's what I wanted to see. So it pumped out a pumpkin. I have to be careful here because some of this has got water behind it. So I think that's all the redstone done. It's not, not, not as neat looking as I wanted it to be. Um, but I think that's all that needs to happen. There needs to be a block above the dropper. 
two, I think. I mean, really, chances are, chances are this whole thing is going to be stoned in. I can't break the blocks to my left because that's the ceiling of Alistair's, um, Alistair's uh, Stargate room. So I've got a limited space. I can't do anything in there. So I might end up making those just plain stone, actually. That might look better. And let's see. I think that's it. So this hopper ends up being like locked and unlocked. But after that, it should be fine. So if I put pumpkins in here, they all go down into the dropper. Yep. And I guess the only way to test it is to probably power and unpower this part by removing this torch. Yeah, so when that torch flickers, it shoots out a pumpkin. And so what happens is when the chest goes from one item short of being full to being full, it flicks that torch. And then one item from the full chest goes out and one item from the full chest comes in. I think that's how that's how it's going to work. It seems to work okay on the potatoes. So that's good. I'm happy about that. I will have to figure out a way to make this look a little bit better. We can do that at the end. I'd rather have it functioning first. Cosmic Dancer with a bit of a bomb at the beginning of February. Holy smoke. Hot, I just, Cosmic Dancer. Can we get some hype in the chat for Cosmic Dancer? I need, I need to get some emotes going and I need to get some subscriber badges going because I've got some people that are just phenomenal uh, supporters of the stuff that I'm doing on this channel and I'm blown away by it. So thank you so much. That's fantastic. I wish I could change the mod icon in my channel. I don't think you can. I think that has to be Twitch wide because otherwise I would turn I would turn it into like a cosmic mod or something. Uh, but yeah, no, I agree. Uh, Magpie tier, uh, I'm going to third, second vote on that. I think we're going to have to come up with something special uh, for the, the cosmic subscription or the cosmic support. We'll come up with something. Uh, it's a good thing. Hey, maybe I might know an artist. I might know one that could actually make something for us. <laughs> <laughs> I really need to get on that. And I, you know what? And the fun thing about it is that I can I can live stream it when I do it too. Uh, where were we? We were going to change that stone just because that's going to bug me. Like this. Let's do this. That. Boop, boop. I think that's good. And... What should we do down here? I think maybe this can be switched out to terracotta. Like that. And then we'll do the same thing here, here. And then this is just me being just a little OCD about how redstone looks when you can see it in the game. Whoops, not that. Want terracotta. And so I can just replace this, do, 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 like that. Another su successful pumpkin spit. That looks good. Uh, this is all glass. So this is going to be terracotta as well. Oh, that's going to be water. See how fast we can do this. Ha! We might switch that out to glass later too. Uh, but that's that. Come out here. I think we might change that. This. And this just to kind of make it look all good. I think that's all the terracotta down here. I think on the outside we could maybe do something special. We could almost just do this just to kind of make it all look seamless. It's good. Uh, I don't want to put a block here yet because I need to still get underneath here. We can probably put one there. I don't think that's going to be a problem. Uh, will it matter? That might power that hopper. I don't know. I don't want to mess with the, the design too much. 
so I think at this point, we might be best to actually take the time and fill up the, the chest to see if it actually works. Speaking of art streams, that time-lapse of the tree work was great, says Paranor. Thanks so much, man. I have another time-lapse of the pixel art that I did last weekend in the works. Uh, it's actually less of a time-lapse. I did more talking in that stream, and I thought it would be kind of nice to actually have my audio from the stream uh, in the video. But at some points in the video, I think I might speed things up just because it does get a little bit um, slow. Uh, Paranor, I would love more content in the same style. Uh, thanks, Jared. Yeah, I, there, there's definitely room for more art content and there's definitely room for more um combinations of art and minecraft so that is why is that not oh because these hoppers one of these hoppers is not locked oh i didn't mean to do that i need to lock there's that's one of the torches i think i was missing there was something i was something i wasn't doing so that why is this not locking oh because this is not locked what if i do this so they're all yeah okay so that's not good we need to lock we need to lock that hopper how do we do that Sorry, I'm deep in thought here, and it's probably the boring part of the video, but we need to figure out how to power this signal will lock and unlock this hopper. The problem with this design currently, and really I could just raise the dropper. That might be the easiest thing to do. That might be the easiest thing to do because that way we don't have to have all this down here. I think I think I have to go take another look. <laughs> Sorry. I think I have to go take a look at my design. I think I might just raise the dropper. That might be the easiest thing to fix. There's the torch that's powering comparator. And Matcast is back with a sub. Back for five times of supporting the Citadel. High fives all around. Thanks, man. So I found out today, uh, as I was doing some research about Twitch, that the new subscription badges are going to accumulate. Uh, so it's not just like one-time subs. It's like as you've subbed for... So if someone subs for five months and then someone subs for one month at a time for five months, you both end up with the same badge, which is really cool. So I'm, I've got some work to do to design these badges. Uh, so yes, I think that's what's happening. This repeater is locking this hopper, but then what's locking this hopper? If I put, what happens if I put this in here? So that goes down. I don't understand why they're all draining. Which one of these hoppers? So this hopper. This hopper must be powered. Yeah. Okay, so repeater block hopper, and that's what it is. So this, that's the that's the difference in the design from the other, the other one. Yeah. So dot repeater block, and if I can remember that, then we should be good. Should be good. Now, uh, input, any ideas? I know Cosmic Dancer was tossing some stuff to me in Discord about ideas for a theme for the community around the stream, uh, what kind of badges could happen. Something I really enjoy, I've been watching a lot of Iskall85 um, from Hermitcraft on tw on Twitch, and he's got this Escalium thing that he does. And he, if you subscribe, then you get, excuse me, you get an Escalium rock. And the longer that you're subscribed, the rock kind of evolves it gets polished and mined and turns into a cooler looking rock so the subscription um base as it gets denser people's badges get cooler looking so i like that idea but i don't know what the theme could be i was thinking like coffee themed or something you know like the citadel cafe the citadel but, uh so it was dot repeater and then block. I'm pretty sure I said comparator on that clip just a second ago, but yeah, so that's correct. So why isn't this working? 
It's locking but not allowing input from above, but since the hopper is pointing down, it won't all hold on to what's in it. Ah, it's because it's pointing down. Thank you. So if we point these in this direction, like this, I think that hopper was in the dropper. I think I was also meant to raise this dropper as well. I think that might be, I think that might be cleaner. So we'll do that too. There's going to be a lot of moving pumpkins around today, just FYI. That's going to be a thing. I'm going to get rid of this block too. So let's grab you, get rid of you. We'll put, actually, I guess I needed that to be there. We'll put a hopper going into you. Remove the confusion of having this down here. Do that. And two, three, that. And then the dropper will go in the place of this pumpkin, like this. I hope this doesn't face downwards. Go. And that's facing in that direction. I think it's the I think the only thing we're gonna worry about now is the other the hopper underneath this chest might be facing the wrong way. Yeah. So I'll grab that. And we'll have to see if we can creatively how do we get in there? Can I point? Hmm. I guess we'll just take this off. Dartmouth Meadows Community Pumpkin Farm. This is going to have to change anyway. I need to get in here. And I need to put a hopper into the side of that pumpkin somehow. Let's just get this out of here. I think this will work. Ha! Okay. And then chest. Where'd the chest go? Sorry. It's probably in the dropper, but sorry. I'll grab another one. So now pumpkins go in and they still go out. Why are they going out? So that this should be locked. Okay, so it is locked. Is that, I think in the other one, the chest is actually on that one. That's probably the problem is that this top hopper is not getting locked, but that's okay. If that means that if we just put five stacks of pumpkins in that hopper, I don't care. We've got more pumpkins than we know what to do with. Uh, I can't get out that way. So we'll just put enough pumpkins in this so that the hopper is backed up. Oh, we're still draining. I guess I have to give that some time. Well, while we're thinking about that, we should probably think about how we're going to do the water stream. Uh, I think we're just going to echo what we've got uh, down below with uh, couples of slabs. I've got ice blocks instead of buckets, so that's going to be a lot easier. So we can do something like ice. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then this will be packed ice, which I didn't bring down with me. That was dumb. Grab some of that up and down the ladder all day long. Grab that and just grab some of this stuff. Ah, I need the hole. There we go. Packed ice and then Slab. That. I didn't break the first one uh, because I don't want to have to jump over water every time right now. Let's do that. And we'll take this out. I guess I should get my packed ice down on my hot bar. I, uh, I'm behind. I'm late to the game for Vintage Beef and Etho. Although I've been going back and I've been watching the old, like, Etho Season 2 stuff. 
on like episode 200 he's on like episode 500 right now uh i quite like it it's really chill it's it's nice i, I like the pace a lot of fun it's a little bit of an education thing for me i'm doing it in part um for research because i've not been playing minecraft very long so it's nice that when pixel riffs mentions something from like you know 1.3 or 1.4 on uh on um, the spawn chunks that i actually know what he's talking about so that's cool uh pack dice and slab and torch i'm getting there it's not not very far One last time here. This is a nice little spot to have it. Actually, it makes for it'll make for a nice crossing if we ever have to get across the other side. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we're gonna have to come up with something there. What is gonna be the thing that, that will? I'm guessing like an iron bar or a glass pane. Glass pane is probably the best thing to do. Not sure what will, I mean, not that people are gonna see it. I think like glass panes have been working for me for these kind of things. I think I have glass, orange ones. Let's grab some just regular ones or even a white glass pane or gray, gray, light gray. Let's go with that. I use that for the spider farm stuff. The, the problem with a sign is that I want the item to, I want the item to hit the middle of the water stream below and a sign um, because of the velocity of items, they would hit the edge of this block and I don't want them to collect on the edge there. But if I do this, then they will more than likely, more than likely hit the middle. Although I'm gonna have to test it. I'm gonna have to test to see if this works. So we'll do that. But if I do this, Yeah, see, they, they, that went right in the middle, which I think is, is key. So how can I, I guess I can just test it by throwing a pumpkin in the top here and seeing what happens. I didn't hear the dropper. So nothing happened. Does this have to be in subtract mode? I designed this myself, but it was months and months and months ago. Nope. Oh, I know why. I know why I did it wrong. I moved, I moved up. I moved the dropper up and I did not move this up. I'm remembering this now. So the repeater was on the wrong hopper. Right? Yeah. That's how it looks on the other side and you're now stuck. Uh, sometimes it's the simplest thing right there we go one in one out one in one out one in one out successful test i would say perfect okay good that was going to drive me crazy okay so in case you in case you missed the beginning of this this dropper is uh being powered by this strip when it powers and unpowers this block right here this dropper fires out a pumpkin. Um, I don't know why. Oh, these are draining. These are draining in from the hopper. I think. I think so. So the hopper that we filled up with five, because we thought we had to do that. It's this. Yes. Let's get rid of those. So it should just still be one in, one out, right? So there are there are no extra pumpkins hanging out in the hoppers, but uh, that there's a hopper behind here, and that's being locked. And then when the chest gets one item, it toggles this repeater, which flicks this torch on and off, and that does two things. 
it unlocks a hopper and it spits something out of the dropper. So it's like it does the two things at once. So it's a really nice, concise little system, which which I like. Uh, and not nearly as big as I thought it was going to be. So that's good. Now we can decorate this and get it all sorted and put in some ice down here so that they actually go into the water stream. Get rid of that. Okay, so now anything that comes out of this, and I think maybe one has to be in there for it to be a constant string. I think this is all now going to go on to the greenhouse. What is going on now? Why is this filling up? Oh, because the farm puts out like a ton at a time? I don't understand. Hmm. Sensor just went off. Uh, probably should have a clock on the dropper rather than relying on the hopper to trigger it. Yes. So that other system I thought was very nice and tidy, but I think you're right. I think I can maybe get rid of this and put a clock underneath here on the dropper, sending things out um, so that the dro dropper will just empty itself no matter what. See like what happens if I put like eight pumpkins in here? Right, so the torch burns out. That's what happens, it's too fast. The torch burns out and then a bunch of pumpkins come through and that's fine, but the problem is that then this will eventually fill up and be too full because the torch burns out and it doesn't fire this constantly. So I think, I think you're right. I think I need to have, I need to have a clock on this dropper and that's fine. That's easy to do. We can just, we can tag that in here. That doesn't have to be part of the other, the build. We can just get rid of this. And then I think I've got enough room here that I can just build this off to the side. Yeah, not a big deal at all. I've built these many, many times. I think this is probably the surface. Where is underneath? Yeah. Uh, oh, okay, so there's wheat there. Well, this is going to be easy, so I don't have to worry about that. I think I might make it out of terracotta just for fun, just in case somebody is down here and they're mining and they run into it they will know that it's meant to be something else uh, actually terracotta or stone bricks hmm stone bricks i think uh elkhorn 95 says or you could keep this design and put a comparator clock on the dropper circuit uh yeah that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put a auto drop circuit on the comparator so i'm gonna grab some stone bricks I've got redstone dust. I just need one comparator and one repeater. And that should be all I need to complete this. So we'll do this, that, and then stone bricks there, there, and there. And then this is going to be tight space. So let's just maybe find a way up here that's not gonna destroy everything don't know what this is but we will fix it later there we go so comparator goes there and then block block with redstone here there block repeater going this direction and then don't want all of them to go at once we're still going to need block there and let's make it dirt so why should that not be working it's obviously a clock use purple as a base for my redstone i always know when i run into it run into it that's a smart idea elkhorn that's a great idea 
Anagram with the 500 bits. Gotta go. Thanks for the nice stream. You're welcome, Anagram. Thanks for hanging out. Much appreciated. You are fantastic, as always. <laughs>